Hi guys, so in this video we're going to start using this toolkit and the first thing that we're going to see is how we can import different characters in here so that you can use different animal characters. The process is quite simple, so we're going to go to the character studio, we're going to select the character studio effect from here and then go to your animation presets, go to user presets and if you have installed the, the project successfully in here you should find these folders which we have pasted inside of that user presets folder. So we have the animal character presets, you have the animal character animations, and then you have the object animations. In this case, we're going to go to the animal character presets, open that up, and then here you have the animal body presets and animal head presets. So this is the character studio, this is for the body mainly, so we're going to go to the animal body presets, and we can simply double click on any of these so this is the hippo, of course this won't change the head, we will change the head from a different section. Let's go to the head studio now, select the head studio and make sure to select the head studio effect from here, very important, and then go to the animal head presets and simply select head hippo in here. And there it is, very very easy to do in here and if we go back to the animal studio we can find the hippo loaded up right over here. This is quite fun, you can go ahead and experiment and see what you have, we have included in here. So let's try another one, just so we can see some different characters. So if we go to the character studio, we're going to bring in a duck. And as you can see, we have a variety of animals in here with different features. So we can go to head studio now and bring in the head of the duck, double click. Make sure, of course, that the effect is selected and there it is, the head of the duck. And if you go back in here, you can see our bird or duck right over here. Now, when you change the characters, the shadow right over here will adapt to that character. But for some characters, you, you might need to simply adjust it very slightly so that it fits correctly in here. So to do that, I'm simply going to select that layer shadow and just drag it up. Hold, you can hold shift while you drag it up so that you don't move it in the in the x axis you just simply move it in the y axis and that's basically it that's basically what you need to do to import new characters 